Boxing for On Industries. We're here today with uh, Ryan Paris from Fletcher Allen. I uh, wanted to take a few moments to have him walk through their truck and what it is that they do and tell, tell us a little bit about their organization. So, uh, because of the patient populations that we transport, um, we require a lot of versatility in the configuration of our, our engine. So, uh, some interesting things about this truck, which are uh, pretty rare for an ambulance. Uh, we have the ability to take two stretchers uh, in multiple configurations uh, at some time. We're doing uh, twin isolettes for uh, the neonates for uh, bariatric transports for uh, uh, equipment that we, additional equipment we take on those. So, uh, because we transport a lot of uh, pediatric patients, uh, we carry some uh, specialized medical gases, so imperial fines. Uh, we have a backup uh, this is medical air for uh, the uh, neonate isolates. And then in this position would be um, a heliox, uh, helium oxygen mixture for uh, pediatric patients, which is, um, as far as we know, unique only to this truck in the United States. Uh, we're not aware of anyone else that uh, has carried this or designed this into an ambulance. So here we have this uh, diesel generator system. Uh, this truck is capable of maintaining life support systems should we have a, an issue with the power system. Two independent systems one another, they act, uh, they can act independently or together. Um, it gives us a, a level of safety and redundancy that we, uh, we didn't have before, that we found that we needed. Another uh, unique feature for this type of truck is a uh, liquid oxygen system. Uh, this allows us to carry 20,000 gaseous liters of liquid oxygen. Um, it's important for us to have uh, Type of capacity. Uh, we do long transports with people who are on uh, mechanical ventilators. Uh, subsequently, that uses up a lot of, uh, a lot of oxygen. Uh, so inside of the truck here, we have some uh, unique design features to this, uh, to our ambulances. Um, first thing to know would be the uh, flex steel seats. Um, we spend a lot of time on the road, um, probably you know three, four, or five hours at a time. Uh, so uh, being comfortable uh, while our uh, crew members start working back here is important. So since we do uh, pediatric transports, as you know, those of you with kids, um, they're at times uh, difficult to um, keep occupied. So uh, on three or four hour transports, uh, we've uh, installed, uh, the first one in our truck, uh, installed a DVD system with a TV, um, so we can facilitate uh, some light entertainment for the, for the kids and make it a little bit more enjoyable for them to ride. So uh, essentially, uh, uh, the Fletcher Allen is the only level one trauma center in the state of Vermont, and uh, the only uh, level one trauma center for uh, several hundred miles in the upstate New York direction, and uh, at least 100 miles from the next closest one in New Hampshire. Um, so our team uh, covers from uh, the uh, Canadian border over in Ogdensburg near uh, Ottawa, um, all the way over to Vermont, and. Um, down to uh, Ticonderoga, also in New York. So we have probably one of the largest geographical uh, coverage areas of any ground transport service. And the fact that we don't have an aircraft uh, facilitates the need for us to have uh, and be able to carry um, just about anything we could possibly need to use in the ambulance. So um, as far as um, treating patients goes, um, this is essentially being in an ICU bed in a hospital. Um, the only thing that we're not able to do is any sort of surgical interventions. Um, but aside from that, um, the medicine practice in the back of this, particularly this ambulance, um, is near physician level uh, quality and um, at just about as high uh, acuity as you can get in the field.